Hi everybody, this is Lisa from Three Black Cats Crochet. So yesterday I went to the Walmart um, with my husband and we did a little bit of a yarn haul. Um, I can't walk around the store like I used to, so it's um, nice when I get a chance to go um, because I just can't walk anymore. So uh, my doctor would like me to ride in the cart you know the motorized cart but uh, it's not happening so um i just have my husband drop me off in the yarn aisle he goes finishes the grocery shopping then he comes pick me up and then we leave so what i got <clears throat> and i got my receipt right here because i want to talk to you about the difference between online and in-store purchases so my update on my um my blanket for my aunt it's going well um it's kind of boring it's six up six down but you know it's a good television project um i think it's going great um it's kind of dark in here so you can't see the colors very well but it's uh three rows of camo and then one row of um medium time it's a four worsted weight she had given me one of these super saver balls uh this one has i can't find the yardage on it right there right in front of my face 482 yards and it's a four ply um they call it camo camouflage um i honestly think because i chained 350 to start because i wanted a generous size blanket that it's going to take at least all of this the one she gave me all of this another one and maybe so i'm thinking it's probably going to take four of these so i i'm shooting for christmas time to finish it so we shall see i've been like i said i've been doing three rows of the camouflage and then cutting it with one row of medium time because um just for eye value because i you can't really tell i wish you could see back here more can't see um but uh yeah it's um the green cuts it so the variegated doesn't make your eye go crazy so i think you kind of need that with a variegated yarn um the other thing is that i got was i had been watching different people unbox ferris wheel by um red heart or excuse me red heart by lion brand and it says on the label that this is a four ply this one happens to be called vintage carousel there's a 270 yards in it um it says it's a four it's not a four and i'll i'll show you a four and then well we could do it with the camouflage because camouflage is a four this is a four ply you know This is Ferris wheel. There is a big, it's not really coming across on camera, but there's a, it's a three. It might be a, a big three, but it's not a four. And how I know it's not a four is because I was watching Crystal from Bagaday Crochet. She had taken some Red Heart Hopscotch yarn and had made hats for her children. And so I thought, well, if it's four, I can just use that because hopscotch is a four. It's not a four. So what I did, this is the, this one is called Vintage Carousel, and it's beautiful. I love it. It's funky. It's cool. It'll make great hats for my grandchildren. However, because it's a three, I um, followed her thing, and I looked on the, I followed her tutorial for the hat, and then I looked on the sizing for the crown of the head for the child, and it's supposed to be a six inch crown. Well, it was way smaller. I mean, a lot smaller, like a four. So I kind of have tight tension. So the other thing Crystal said was to switch to a bigger hook size because her recommendation was a 5.5i. I went up to the J which is a six and um i didn't like it it just looked too loosey goosey too holy i don't i didn't like it so i ripped it out that was rip out two 
So this is number three. And what I did was I added more rounds, more, um, you know, when you got the word right in your head and you can't think of it, uh, I added more rounds to make it bigger. Um, but then I, now I got the wave in it and, um, see, it looks like a flippity floppity. I don't like it. So I'm going to rip it out for the fourth time and I'm going to spend some time on YouTube and take a look and see if I can't find a pattern for, it's, it's like a, a three. I need a DK weight, um, kid hat tutorial is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking at. So these, I got my receipt right here, the the these little balls of um ferris wheel they retailed for 347 at the walmart and the big super saver the big one that retailed for 644 so i was pretty happy with that <clears throat> then i've been i had this in my uh whip pile work in progress and because it's october i thought this is a perfect time to pull it out this is the lost soul skull shawl by um, Marietta Roy. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I was doing it with Unicorn by Mandela Lion Brand. So I was going around, going away, going around and around. And I got to the white part and I realized that on my yarn, there was like coloration that wasn't supposed to be there. So I, um, I started looking at it and sure enough, I had spilled coffee on it and you can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, so I was, since this is a gift for somebody, I didn't want to finish the shawl and take a chance of washing it and not having it come out. So I just stopped and, um, I, I don't want to wash loose yarn. So what I was thinking is I could make a, a hat for one of the grandchildren and wash it and if it doesn't come out you know just garbage but I didn't want to give it as a gift and so I've worked really hard on it so this is what spirit or unicorn looks like by uh, lion brand by mandala this is a three I made the skull shawl before for my sister Terry I did it in spirit which is this color and it takes, it takes a good one and a half to almost two balls, depending on how long you, you like it. Now, my sister Terry, hers that I did, I did hers in, um, with an H hook, a 5.0 millimeter. This one I'm doing with a G hook, which is a 4.5 millimeter. Why? Because I just, on a three weight, I like using the G. I don't know. I know they recommend an H hook I like the G that's fine so I got the unicorn so then I had seen fiber spider um, was doing a tutorial on the lost lost souls skull blanket so what you do is you basically make a granny square and then you you put skulls around it and then you add more skulls and they get bigger and bigger. It's based on the same pattern by Marietta Roy. Um, so my daughter likes that kind of weird stuff. So I thought maybe I would get pick up two balls of spirit <clears throat> after I finish my sugar skulls shawl or lost soul shawl, whatever you want to say it. And I would do um, my daughter a blanket for Christmas time. But the best laid plans, so we shall see how that goes. I really wanted some more pixie. This I've had this for a long time. I made something with it. I didn't like it. I pulled it out. I do that a lot. Um, I figure if you get like 10, 12 rounds in and you don't like it, then pull it out and redo it. So I wanted another ball of pixie because I like pixie. This is pixie by Mandela Lion Brand. I like the colors. But they didn't have, I couldn't find this skein. So 
I did pick up another ball of this one is Warlock. I have about a half a skein, three quarters of a skein. So I now I have one and a half. And I found out that if you're doing a project, like a shawl or something, one ball is not enough. You need two. Even though it's a generous yardage, 590 yards. 540 uh, meters, which is a lot of yarn. Um, I just, I, I find that you need to. So, I got to the register, and let's see. The Mandela Balls Warlock was 497. Spirit was 497. That's what it was priced at. And when I we went to ring up Unicorn, which is this one, for the candy shawls, or the Lost Souls Gold shawl, um, it rang up for a dollar. One dollar. I'm like, what? And I told my husband, I said, oh my gosh. If I didn't feel so bad, I would run back there and buy every single thing of unicorn they had. Or get a big card and throw a bunch in and see which one are ringing up a dollar and which ones are ringing up full price. So, he's like, well, you can go. And I'm like, I, I just, I, I don't have the strength to go back. So, he's like, well, maybe you can go tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can. Um, but I probably won't. But I'm just telling you. I couldn't believe it. It rang up a dollar. And the other thing is, is when I got home, I wanted to see if they had more of this pixie, and I had just missed it, and um, they didn't have it in my store online. But the other thing is, when I was looking online, they said the in-store price was six ninety-seven. I didn't pay six ninety-seven. I paid four ninety-seven. So why is Walmart telling you online that if I ordered it for like say pickup, they would charge me six ninety seven when if I had walked my little butt into the store, I would be charged four ninety seven. So I want y'all to be careful and look. <clears throat> I mean, two dollars extra per skein of yarn is a lot, and the unicorn that I got for a dollar, it was ringing. It was on the online price. It was a good six ninety seven. So why I don't know. The other thing I wanted to tell you about Mandela is because they're all wound differently. This one came with a big pink in the middle, and then white, and then on to blue. And because I had stopped at the white on this, I have. You have to, um, to make it look even and go with the color scheme, I had to pull out the big wad of uh, pink. But that's okay because, you know, I can use this. If I can get the coffee stains out of this yarn, I can use this and this together and make hats for the girls. But that was a really long-winded discussion. I hope you're really well. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, that's all I got today. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.